It looks like we had a little accident in the buck pen overnight. This is the younger buck's pen. This is the gentle side of the pen. You wouldn't know it, though. This avalanche there. Avalanche has knocked off his skur. Okay, so when you burn a goat's horns, um, they can get back something called a skur. And it's like, it looks like a horn, but it's not very well attached. So they can knock those on things or, you know, we're getting into the rut here. So they're fighting and, um, so they must've been fighting in their house overnight. Anyway, he's knocked off one of his skurs. So they're just not rooted right comparatively to a horn. So it's, this will just happen with throughout their life. They'll knock them off and they'll regrow, knock them off, they'll regrow. But I think we can see what happened. Let's see here, Orion. Let's see here, he's the one he was fighting with. Anyway, you can put a little bit of iodine on there or something like that um, when they do that. Because there's a little bit of flesh exposed there where the horn was. And they have a, an inner horn that the hollow horn sits on. So you may still see a little bump of bone there. It's a, pretty much a common occurrence when you have disbudded goats. Poor guy. It looks worse than it is, though. He's been rubbing, rubbing the blood everywhere by fighting. These are just yearlings, but they're, well, you know, they're like a year and a half old, getting something like that. They fight quite a bit when they start getting more mature. Hey, River, that's, that's too close. River likes to get too close. Yes, he does. Too close, River.